Do you ever wonder why your mom always said, put your shoes on before you went outside? Well, this video will show you exactly why that is. Uh, this is a gentleman who um, decided one day to walk through a field without shoes on. And what the result is, is what you're gonna see on the video. Tons of splinters in his feet and each one felt like a little shard of glass. So this is why in the city you should walk around with shoes on. So enjoy the video. All right. Okay, you got that one? Well, it's not that close, but now it is. So how long have these little things been stuck in your skin? Probably for about a week, maybe a little bit more. Okay. I just had it. There we go. Do you have a tweezers? Would it help? Um, it probably, no. But I don't have one anyway with me here, so. I actually have one in my car. No, that's okay. Is that hurting you? A little bit, like uh, when she first rubbed on it, because I think she wants to hit the, the bigger spot. Yeah, this one's out. Okay, you got this one, Deb? Yeah. Okay. Don't go in that area again. <laughs> yeah. What area? Him, when he went up oh. to that area and he was barefoot or whatever. Yeah. Okay, can you see that one yes. right there? Is this, like, is this what it's like when a dog puts his face in a porcupine? <laughs> you have to say. pull them out one at a time. I mean, these are just teeny little thorns, but it would be like. It would feel like having two little slivers of glass. Yeah, that's what I actually thought it was. There you go. That is longer than it looks. Yes. Interesting. Do you think that's a organic something like from a a, bra a branch or something? Yeah, that's that's plant matter. Mm -hmm. That's plant material. All right. What else we got? Um, we got that one. That one. That one. This little blood blister here. Let's see if there's one in there.
with that one. Did it come out? It did. I didn't, it's I couldn't Kind of in the skin right there. Oh. Uh, well, I bet. I mean, you're lucky that none of these, the one on your right foot looked infected, but this whole, the rest of these don't seem to be. So I'm not thinking any of this is pus. I would call this what we call liquefaction, which is just where you have a little inflammatory reaction and it kind of liquefies the, the skin cells. It looks like pus, but it isn't. Do you think it's possible that those, those thistles have a little poison in them? Um, probably not. Two, one thing that has concerned me a bit too is I, I have worn some donated shoes. Uh huh. And I think, you know, maybe there was something a little bit of it. Well, I mean, that's possible that somebody had. Like, because I had an open, you know, wound already and then I think you know what let's have you turn over on your stomach okay, um, I'm gonna... okay. this is taking a lot longer because there's little tiny things we have to get out The light is making it really look, um, it's actually, yeah, that's better if the light's a little away. That's a lot better. I'm going to come back to this one here because there's still something there. How are you doing up there? Are you okay? If you need me to take a break, just tell me. She's just kind of scraping away, scraping away, and that little prongs are coming out. I am going to switch places. scream yet so that's good. <laughs> Won't scare away any of the people waiting out in the hallway. Did you see one in there? I did. It's gone. Let's do this one. Down by the... Yeah. Yep. Thank you. 
get it. I'll change it. Okay. Oh my goodness. Did that toe hurt you? Oh my, that's a long one. Whoa. Did that toe hurt you? You gotta show him that. That's amazing. Did you feel like there was something poking straight in? Um that had to come out. That is not something you wanted to keep in there. What do you call that, Judy? A thorn? No. <laughs> when the skin liquefies. Oh, just liquefaction. Oh, liquefaction. Of some of the skin. Yeah, I don't see anything here that looks like infection. Okay. But we're going to treat these with some amber here. Okay. Some of these are getting a little sensitive. No. few more left. There's quite a few on here. Did you realize you had so many? No, but it hurt me. Like, I was limping for a while. There's that one. Can you see that one? Yes. Okay. And uh, let's see. How about the right next to it, to the right? This one? Yes. You're a champ, I'll tell you what, because I know this has to be uncomfortable. Well, it does. <laughs> yeah, if you don't redo something like this, your feet will heal up just fine. I really appreciate it. I don't know why I went to the hospital. This one?
please. You know what, we have a somewhat of a difficult situation in here that's taking longer, so we're still going to get to you if you can just be no, patient. that's okay. I mean, I've been waiting 45 minutes. I'll come back next month. Okay, whatever you want. Thank you. I mean, were these guys not having dinner? They had dinner. They are just not wanting to wait in here. That's fine. It's on them. We would take as much time as they needed if they were in here. strange how they got in there with that tough skin on his feet because he had a lot of tough skin there. Yes. Uh, sick or anything, so I was happy about that, but they were like all over the crash. Mm -hmm. They look over a hitchhike or to hitchhike a ride. <laughs> <laughs> on any mammal they can find. Right. I think we got them all. May have missed one or two, but um, you're definitely welcome to come back if they're still there okay. next month. Now.